In today's video, we are going to be learning about the state of Virginia, abbreviated VA, and they joined the Union on June 25th, 1788. Hi, Boris. Virginia got its name in honor of Elizabeth I, the Virgin Queen. And the state of Virginia has two nicknames. One of the nicknames is Old Dominion. This nickname was given to Virginia by King Charles II in recognition of Virginia's loyalty to the crown, which is very interesting since the early settlers of America's whole goal was to get away from the crown or the British rule. And when we learn about the flag of Virginia, it's all about defeating tyranny. Tyranny meaning British rule. The second nickname of Virginia is Mother of Presidents because eight of our presidents were born in Virginia. We will learn those eight very soon. The capital of Virginia is Richmond and Virginia's motto is thus always to tyrants. And the citizens of Virginia are referred to as Virginians. Where do you suppose this spell is from? So my soap design today is kind of a combination of two things having to do with Virginia. As I've said in the past, when I make my soaps, they are not going to be like, here is a picture of Virginia, or here is the Virginian state flag made into soap. It's more like one of Virginia's main natural resources is apples. So our fragrance oil is gonna be an apple scent, or one of Virginia's main beverages is milk. So we're gonna add some goat milk. Or if the state has colors, which Virginia does not have any colors labeled as state colors. So then I would pick, okay, what other significant things are there? Well, the flag is mostly blue. So the base of my soap is going to be colored with peacock blue, but I did not want to try to replicate the flag. The second thing I'm going to be referencing in the soap is the fact that one of their natural resources is charcoal. So clearly we're going to add some activated charcoal. With the activated charcoal, we're going to be using some firecracker red because their state bird is the cardinal. Then along with my typical ingredients, which I don't know if I need to keep telling you this every single video, but kale and clay and sugar are in pretty much every batch of soap I make. I'm not particularly a perfectionist, therefore I have a little bit more freedom in what I'm doing. We're gonna see what happens. I think it might be cool. Let's real quick go over the eight presidents that were born in Virginia. First is George Washington. Not only is he the first president born in Virginia, but he is the first president. Then there's Thomas Jefferson, the third president, James Madison, the fourth president, James Monroe, the fifth president, William Henry Harrison, the ninth president. That's a president you don't hear much about, probably because he died 33 days after becoming president. John Tyler is the 10th president, Zachary Taylor, the 12th president, and finally Woodrow Wilson, the 28th president. Now Virginia's flag. The seal in the middle depicts the Roman virtue of virtus, a symbol for peace. The figure holds a long spear and has a sword of authority that remains sheathed. She is posed in such a way that indicates victory. Underneath the foot of Virtus is tyranny. This represents the state's defeat of Great Britain. A crown lying on the ground represents Virginia's release from the control of Great Britain. The broken chain held by tyranny represents the freedom of Virginia from Britain's control. And a whip in the other hand of tyranny is rendered useless representing the state's freedom from acts of punishment by the British. The seal also features the motto, Sic Semper Tyrannus, which means, thus always to tyrants. And this is their motto, as we learned in the intro. And as we mentioned, their state bird is the Northern Cardinal. State butterfly is the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail. That's familiar if you've seen any of my previous state soaps. They have a state dog breed, the American Foxhound. It's pretty rare for a state to have selected a dog breed for their state, so I love to mention it when they do. The state fish, they've got two, just like previous states, the brook trout and the striped bass. State flower is the American dogwood. State mammal, Virginian big-eared bat. State shell is the eastern oyster. State tree, southern live oak. State fossil is the scallop. Their state rock is the Nelson Knight. And their state beverages are milk and George Washington's rye whiskey. The most significant natural resources of Virginia are broilers, beef, turkey, greenhouse plants, soybeans, tobacco, apples, grapes, coal, crab, and oysters. So tell me something, Soap. What happened to the blue? The peacock blue just disappeared. It's gray. So that kind of messed up that whole, that whole thing there. 
Yeah, that's gray. I call that gray. Man. Oh well. Okay, let's see what we have inside. Whoa, that is nothing like I was expecting. I'm not really sure what I was expecting, but it's cool looking. I don't know how much it makes you think of the state of Virginia. <laughs> wow, this looks more like the cover of a Hitchcock film or something. Well, I hope all the Virginians in my country still like this Virginia inspired soap. So if you've seen any of my past state soap videos, during the cut I like to bring up a movie that takes place in the state that I am teaching on. And the only reason I do this is because I enjoy movies. Movies is one of my favorite hobbies. I just like watching movies and I like to analyze them and, and just have a good time. So the movie I chose for Virginia is Disney's Pocahontas, which was released in 1995. It had mixed opinions when it came out and still today has mixed opinions, especially with the very sensitive population we have nowadays. So typically the comments about this movie is it has great animation, great voice, and music. But the story lacked focus on tone and the historical inaccuracies were big. And I guess I can agree that the story lacked focus on tone because it would sometimes be funny, sometimes try to be funny, and then sometimes be very serious. And then the historical inaccuracies were big. Yeah, they were very big. But the thing that I hear as a complaint about Pocahontas is that it's racist, which I completely disagree. I've always liked the movie Pocahontas. Did you know John Smith was voiced by Mel Gibson and Thomas was voiced by Christian Bale? What did you think of the movie Pocahontas? I know that the Game Boy game is the worst game I ever played in my life. Well, Virginia, I hope you like the soap. I really do like the soap. I just don't know if it makes me think of Virginia. Although, which of my state soaps have really made you think of the state, you know? This one's just so distinct. It seems like it should be named something like, I don't know. I don't want to come up with anything. We got our side stamp. I really like this, this drop. Is this a drop swirl? It didn't really swirl. I guess it swirled inside the drop. It smells great. It smells like green apple peels. Like you can, you can sense the peels of the apples. It's like an orchard. It's very nice. So after you're done watching me right now, holding this bar of soap for you to, to see, I will show a less than 10 second clip of Pocahontas. It has to be that short, otherwise I will get a copyright strike. And Disney would be especially rude with a copyright strike. And then after the Pocahontas clip, I will play the state anthem, which is Our Great Virginia. Don't feel obligated to stay and listen to it if you have no interest. Um, I don't know why you would anyway ever feel obligated to stay and watch my videos. I don't think you do feel obligated. But the reason why I like to include the state anthems at the end is because they are historical. It's the type of music you just don't hear anymore and you probably will never hear it again unless you try to find it in a real old church that's traditional. There's something special about the old music and I don't want that stuff forgotten. So. So with my tiny little channel over here and my tiny little impact on the world, very tiny, I'm going to be including the old anthems for every state. Typically the anthems are not copyright. One of the songs so far is copyrighted, which is the Georgia State Anthem. I suppose in like 10 years or something, it will no longer be copyright because it'll be over 100. And I believe something to do with things turning 100 years old makes them public domain. Unless you're Disney, you can somehow get out of it because you're so rich. You know, Mickey Mouse is older than 100. He's still copyrighted. See you next time for our fun adventure in the soap making world. I'm planning to do something that I've never done before when it comes to my videos. It will be a new experience for you and for me. If you're interested in watching it, it will be a little bit longer than normal. And you'll see why. Bye. No, I need your hand first.
It's how we say hello.